Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to another episode of Walking with Jesus Daily Motivation. It's truly a pleasure to have you join us on this journey of faith and reflection. Our series is all about finding solace, strength and motivation in the powerful teachings of the Bible, enabling us to navigate the tumultuous waters of life with grace and resilience. Today we explore a theme that resonates deeply with all of us, finding peace in the storm, trusting God in difficult times. Life can sometimes feel like a tempestuous sea, tossing us about with no reprieve in sight. Yet we are reminded time and again in the scriptures that God is our refuge, our anchor in the storm. We hope that through today's episode, you'll find the courage to trust in his divine providence, even when the winds of life blow fiercely. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Today, we delve into the comforting and empowering teachings of the Bible to help us find peace amidst life's storms. Recounting a powerful story from the Bible, we find Jesus and his disciples caught in a fierce storm on the Sea of Galilee. This isn't just an ordinary storm, it's a tempest, with waves crashing over the boat threatening to sink it. And where is Jesus? He's in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples, in their panic, wake him, questioning, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Now imagine the scene, the disciples, seasoned fishermen, are terrified thinking they're going to perish, and there's Jesus just waking up, seemingly unperturbed by the chaos around him. He gets up, rebukes the wind and says to the waves, quiet, be still. And just like that, the wind dies down, and it becomes completely calm. Jesus then turns to his disciples and asks, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples are left in awe, wondering, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. In this story, we see Jesus demonstrating his power over nature, showing us that there is no situation too chaotic, too overwhelming, that he cannot handle. He stands in the face of the storm, commands it to be still, and it obeys. His words, quiet, be still, aren't just for the wind and waves, but also for the storms within our hearts, our fears, anxieties, and uncertainties. In the midst of the storm, the disciples feared for their lives, but they failed to realize that they were in the presence of the one who has control over all things. Jesus was with them in the boat, and that was all they needed. In our own life storms, we too can call upon Jesus, trusting in his power and love to bring calm and peace. We may not always understand why we're facing the storms we are, but we can be assured that Jesus is with us, in our boat, ready to calm our fears and bring peace to the chaos. He is our refuge in the storm, our calm in the chaos, our peace in the turmoil. Another testament to Jesus' mastery over the elements is the miraculous event of him walking on water. This extraordinary event is recorded in the 14th chapter of Matthew, verses 22 to 33. After feeding the 5,000, Jesus sent his disciples ahead of him in a boat while he retreated to a mountainside to pray. As the night fell, the boat was buffeted by waves because of the strong wind. In the darkest hour, just before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the sea. The disciples, seeing a figure approaching them on the water, were terrified, thinking it was a ghost. But Jesus immediately reassured them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter, ever the impulsive one, called out, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus did, saying simply, Come. With initial faith, Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But seeing the wind, he was frightened and began to sink. In that moment of doubt, Peter cried out, Lord, save me! And immediately, Jesus reached out his hand, caught him and said, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This story illustrates a profound truth. Just like Peter, we often start out with great faith, only to let fear and doubt creep in when we see the winds and waves of life. But remember, even when Peter doubted, Jesus was there to catch him. His reassurance is also an encouragement for us today. Even when the waves of life threaten to pull us under, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, our faith firm, can keep us afloat. Trusting in him, we can find peace amidst the storm. The book of Psalms often speaks of God as our refuge and strength in times of trouble. It paints a vivid picture of God's unwavering presence, even when the storms of life are raging. Consider Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3. 
It says God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. What a powerful image. It's as if the psalmist is saying, even if the world is crumbling around us, even if everything we know is being swept away, we have nothing to fear. Why? Because God is our refuge and strength. He's not just a temporary shelter or a fleeting source of strength. No, he is our ever-present help in trouble, always there, always ready to help, to comfort, to strengthen. Now let's turn to Psalm 55 verse 22. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. This verse is another beautiful reminder that God is our refuge. It's not just about physical protection, but emotional and spiritual support as well. When we're overwhelmed by worries, fears or doubts, we're encouraged to cast them onto the Lord. Why? Because he can carry them. He can bear the weight of our worries, our fears, our doubts. And more than that, he can sustain us. He can keep us from being shaken, from being knocked off our feet by the storms of life. So when we're in the midst of a storm, whether it's a literal storm or a figurative one, let's remember these verses from Psalms. Let's remember that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. He's always there, ready to provide peace and refuge, regardless of what's happening around us. These verses remind us that God is always with us, ready to provide peace and refuge in the midst of any storm. As we come to the close of this session, join me in a prayer for peace amidst the storm. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, aware of the turbulence in our lives and in the world around us. We know that you are the master of the wind and the waves, and we ask for your peace to flood our hearts and minds. We surrender our fears, our anxieties, and our uncertainties to you. Just as Jesus calmed the storm on the Sea of Galilee, we trust you, Lord, to calm the storms in our lives. We understand that the trials we face are not meant to break us, but to build us to strengthen our faith and to draw us closer to you. Help us to see our difficulties not as burdens, but as opportunities for your glory to shine through. Give us the strength to endure, the courage to press on, and the wisdom to trust in your perfect timing. Lord, we acknowledge that without you, we are like a ship without a rudder, tossed about by the waves of life. But with you, we have an anchor, a sure and steadfast hope that holds us fast. So we cast all our cares upon you, knowing that you care for us. Father, guide us through the dark valleys, illuminate our path with your divine light, and lead us to the still waters of your peace. Help us to remember that even in the midst of the storm, you're there, whispering, peace, be still. So we choose to be still and know that you are God. As we walk on the waters of faith, may we keep our eyes fixed on you, not on the storm, May we not sink in doubt, but stand firm in the assurance of your love and grace. May this prayer fortify us, providing the peace that surpasses all understanding. We ask all these things in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. May this prayer fortify us, providing the peace that surpasses all understanding. As we conclude today's episode of Walking with Jesus Daily Motivation, remember that God is our refuge and strength. We're grateful that you've chosen to spend this time with us, exploring the comforting truth that even in the midst of life's storms, we can find peace and solace in the arms of our loving God. We encourage you to apply these teachings in your life, to let them guide your steps and illuminate your path. The journey may be challenging at times, but remember, you're never alone. God is always with you, and so are we every step of the way. We also urge you to share this video with others who may need this message of hope and trust. You never know whose life you might touch or what difference you could make with a simple act of sharing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to spread the word and bless others. Until next time, keep walking with Jesus.